Gentlemen, ladies, and anyone in between, I welcome you all. And today I'm gonna to show you just how quick, simple, and easy it is to upgrade from your standard run-of-the-mill stock sheep shorn felt drag washers in your brand new Shimano SLX to something more PETA approved, organic, vegan, if you will, carbon fiber drag washers. Now, this, my friends, is quite possibly one of the simplest and easiest upgrades you can do. Costs you about 10 bucks in parts. You may be able to find them less around eight bucks. I'll put links down below in case you want to order direct for the proper size for this reel. Uh, so you need your carbon fiber drag washers from Carbon Tex. I find Carbon Tex makes probably the, the best of the bunch. There's not really many options out there, and I've had good luck with with them in the past. I've probably done this to over 30 or 40 reels. I don't even know by now. So you need your carbon fiber drag washers. You need a paper towel. Organize that a little bit. You need a size zero screwdriver. This is a size zero posi drive. You can use a Phillips. And you need a 10 millimeter wrench. That's essentially all you're gonna need. If you wanna grease the drag washers, we're gonna grease these. Uh, you can get yourself some Teflon drag grease or Cal's drag grease. I use Cal's. Uh, I usually get the small bottles because I don't like having the big tanks around because they contaminate them if they're left around for too long. So you go with the one out size. They're dirt cheap. I'll leave links down below for eBay where you can purchase these for like, I think five bucks. And it's with all that being said, let's go ahead and start. This whole process shouldn't take you more than five minutes. It's really that simple. All right, now step number one, take your carbon fiber drag washers and remove them from the packaging, like so. Take your paper towel and kind of run the washers over them. You can hear it almost like it's kind of crackling and tearing over the fibers of the paper towel. You wanna do this because when these are cut, they do sometimes leave uh, kind of like a powdery residue. And you don't want I don't want to say residue, but you don't want the remnants or the, I don't know, the dust of the carbon fiber washers getting anywhere in the gear, the gear train. Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll grease these just to prevent that. And you know what? That's what I'm going to do right now. Just a tiny bit of grease like this. A little goes a long way. And we're going to go one, two, and now we're just going to go ahead and just work it in. Let me get this out of the way so you can see a little bit more clearly clearly. We're basically massaging it in, being careful not to really pinch it and crease it because this stuff doesn't really want to be flexed like a, like this. You don't want to be doing that. You can see some of the discoloration on my hands now that we've kind of we're sticking a little bit with the grease. Again, going around, working it in. I'm pretty thorough when I do this. You can you can kind of rush it if you want, but for the, for the purpose of the video, I'm taking my time. Then I'm gonna go back to the paper towel and I'm gonna wipe off all that grease. Same thing with the larger washer. All right, we're done. We're done with the paper towel. No need anymore. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and grab our size zero screwdriver. Our size 10 wrench. We're going to, on a right-handed reel, go counterclockwise. It's gonna be opposite on a left-hand version. We're gonna lift this off being make we're gonna make sure that we keep pressure on this drag star because did you see how it bounced out? You just gotta be a little careful you don't it doesn't go flying because this click plate has a detent here. Now I grease this so the detent is kind of stuck in there. So I'm gonna keep everything together, place it here, and I'm just gonna leave that top cap plate here sitting on the base of the handle. Just to give you an idea, there's nothing underneath that. So that's gonna stay like so. I'm gonna put that at the top. We're gonna to take this spring out. And one thing I may have failed to do since I'm focusing on a million things, loosen up that, that nut that sits on the handle's shaft like so. These are your Belvilles. I'm gonna keep them the same way. And I just wanna move this down. So if you, if you see this washer here that sits right below that nut here, see it's got a copper side and a coated kind of black side. Black side, 
is the coating. It's a kind of a, a, a anti-friction coating. It's designed that when this is spinning on top of it under pressure that it doesn't bind up. So that's going to go up against the aluminum there. And then you're left with your AR clutch sleeve and you're going to go ahead and leave that in place. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the screws at the top of the frame here. I always recommend you use as good a quality screwdriver as you can because you don't want to kind of mangle these, these screws because sometimes these lock tight and if you use crappy like Stanley screwdrivers that don't have a very good uh, sharp tip on them, you can kind of damage those screws. I'll go here. Remember this one went to the back on the opposite side. And this one went to the front. And as I mentioned in the earlier teardown video of this, you can see these screws have the fine threads, these have the coarse. The coarse are gonna be screwed into the plastic. That's how I know that they're on the back side. So I'm gonna tighten these up into the plastic side plate. And what we're gonna do now is gently lift this off. Our goal is not to really disturb anything. And this is a reel that I've already been inside. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna gently lift this off like so. Yours may or may not come off in one piece like that. So we're gonna go ahead and this is gonna go in the garbage or be, be saved. So we're gonna put the thumb bar engagement clutch back into place. And we're gonna grab the smaller of the two carbon fiber washers and slip that over the handle shaft all the way down and make sure that that washer doesn't extend too far out so it would kind of pass where the teeth are. So this is a properly, properly sized bottom washer. Now what we're gonna do now, take that off and now we're gonna be exposing the felt washer. I'm gonna set that aside and now we already have our greased carbon fiber washer that hopefully fits, which it looks like it does. Boom, just like so. That's gonna go back over top and just like so. And since I touch the outside perimeter of the gear with my fingers, I'm just gonna go ahead and just add a little extra layer of grease because I have it sitting next to me. And beyond that, you're done. Make sure when you put this back together, make sure that your thumb bar uh, trip lever, the cam down here is sitting in its track. Make sure it's not kicked off to one side. Make sure that your springs are in place and you're pretty much ready to reassemble. The one thing I want you guys also to watch out for is when you look at it from the under, underside here, make sure that the, the trip plate below the main gear is all the way down on the main shaft. It should be keyed to the base of the main shaft. If it's sitting up too high, you're, you're gonna run into problems. Just, just point that out. And we're gonna go ahead now and take our rear screw that is being seated into the plastic. The front screw again being seated into the plastic, those two coarse th threaded screws. And now we're gonna go ahead and I think these are the two same size. It's always important to remember when you're inside the reel, you don't want to get any grease on where the, the spool shaft comes out of the pinion. The second you get any grease on there, when you put the reel into free spool, which I'll show you in a second, uh, any kind of lubrication or grease uh, will bind against that inside wall of the pinion and cause it to slow down. You see how this one's got good free spool? Now we're going to go ahead and grab our Belleville washers. And this is a little tip, depending on how you want your drag to compress. If you leave them like parentheses around uh, a word like that, you'll have a more gradual wider range of drag. If you have them nesting, like two left parentheses, 
uh, you're going to have less range, meaning it's going to get tighter quicker. It's still going to have the same max drag, but it's going to get there quicker. So we're going to go ahead and put them down if we can. Damn it. And then we're going to go and first we got to, there we go. You want to make sure that your AR clutch sleeve is down all the way. Sometimes it's easier to do that before you put those bell bills in place. You can see how they're in your standard left and right parentheses. And then you have the top washer again with that friction or anti-friction coating facing the aluminum nut. And what you can do at this point is push down the thumb bar, continue turning it. So now that you have some drag before you go the extra length to put the handle on. And you can now make sure that everything is engaged properly. So the drag stack is being compressed properly. I can feel some pretty good resistance. It's probably about, I don't know, probably about two pounds worth right there. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the drag star. <laughs> I'm now thinking back to the first time I did this and uh, it was so hot in this room that my fingers were kind of s sweating <laughs> and having that little bit of grease coating on. My finger was about to slip off the drag star and I was worried it was going to send everything launching. <laughs> These lights are bright. They're over 100 watts apiece. And there are many of them, 100 watt LEDs. Just want to make sure this is all righty. Basically what I'm feeling for is any out of, uh, or out of the ordinary handle play. Making sure everything's seated properly. And this is it. All set. Quick and simple. Really, with this reel being as simply designed as it is, uh, there really isn't much that you can do to really screw it up. So it's with all that being said, I thank you all for joining me. You guys, I've said it before, without you I wouldn't be here, so I appreciate every second of every minute you guys spend here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick, simple upgrade tutorial. Uh, this, I, I gotta say, some of the drags that are made out of felt are, are pretty darn good. Uh, whether or not this is a necessary or mandatory upgrade, that's completely up to you. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys an idea just how simple it is. Uh, if you're the kind of guy that doesn't really pay attention to backing off your drags when you put your reels in storage or in between fishing trips, uh, carbon fiber drag washers seem to kind of perform better for longer if you're that kind of guy. And to be honest with you, when it comes to my reels, I always forget to back off the drags. And when, if, when it's a felt washer, if you leave that drag tightened, the, the, the felt washer just stays compressed and never gets a chance to kind of expand again. So you really lose any range. So with carbon fiber, uh, you gain the advantage of them being more resilient. So again, thanks guys. Tight lines. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys very soon.